hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a quick unboxing of the Vivo V9 along with a quick hands-on review. So guys, this is the retail box that I just received today. On the front, we have the phone's name along with a quick preview of how the phone looks with a notch at the top. On the back, we have some highlighting features, made in India logo, specs and IMEI number. Now without any further ado, let's quickly unbox it. So guys, at the top we have this cardboard box with a Vivo branding on it. Let's see what's inside. So inside it, we get a SIM card ejector, a quick start guide and warranty card. Let me put that aside. Next we have this plastic case which is completely transparent. I wish they gave us a black one just like Xiaomi did for the Redmi Note 5 and the Note 5 Pro. Anyway, going on next we have the phone itself. Let me just put that aside for now. Next we have the power adapter. This is a normal 10 watts power adapter. This phone probably doesn't support fast charging and definitely doesn't have a fast charger in the box. Next we have the micro USB charging cable. And finally, a headset with an inline mic. So these are all the contents of the box, now let's come back to the phone. So guys this is how the phone looks on the front and this is how it looks on the back. It has a super glossy finish and that's probably why it's called pearl black. So guys this is how the phone looks with the case on and it does a pretty good job with providing basic scratch resistance and it does protect the camera module on the back and gives us a nice cutout for the fingerprint scanner. Now at the bottom it has this nice setup where it protects the micro USB charging port from water just in case it might get quite annoying while charging the phone. On the front it has a raised lip so even if you place your phone directly on the face it won't scratch the phone. With the case on it just weighs 166 grams which is still acceptable. Now let me just turn it on and we'll have a quick physical overview and then check out the specs. On the front it has a 6.3 inch Full HD plus display with a new 19 is to 9 aspect ratio with 90% screen to body ratio, protected by a 2.5D curved Corning Gorilla glass. By the way guys, it also comes with a free tempered glass pre-applied. Above the display, we have the 24 megapixel front facing camera with f2.0 aperture, earpiece and sensors. Below the display, it's completely plain. There are no capacitor buttons. Instead, we have the on-screen buttons. On the right side, we have the power and volume buttons and on the left side, we have the SIM card tray. At the top, it is completely plain. And at the bottom, we have the audio jack, a microphone hole, micro USB charging port and the speaker grill. On the back, we have the dual camera setup with a 16 megapixel primary camera with f2.0 aperture and a 5 megapixel secondary camera with f2.4 aperture. That's followed by a single LED flash, a fingerprint scanner, Vivo branding and at the bottom, it says designed by Vivo with two plastic notches on either side to make your phone slightly elevated to prevent scratches. It has dual SIM support with Vo LTE and this is how the SIM card tray looks. It has two nano SIM slots and a dedicated SD card slot which is a rare thing to see in this price segment. SIM card tray is made of metal so it's very well built and surprisingly it has this rubber padding which we usually see on water resistant phones. So this phone might be water resistant to some extent unofficially. Now under the hood it sports a Snapdragon 626 processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage and a 3260 mAh battery. This phone has a thickness of 7.89 mm and weighs 150 grams, which feels very light for a phone with such a huge screen. Right now, this phone is available in two colors, pearl black and champagne gold at 23,000 rupees. Next month, Vivo will be launching Sapphire Blue color. It comes with all the basic sensors, including compass, gyroscope, FM radio, and it even has face unlock feature, just like the iPhone 10. So guys, those were the specs. Now let me quickly configure the phone. By the way guys, these are all the languages this phone supports. It probably has all the Indian languages. It even says Sanskrit. I'm just gonna go with English. Right out of the box, it's giving me the option to add the fingerprint and face. So I'll just go with the fingerprint right now. Now it's time to register the fingerprint. Now let me quickly add face unlock feature as well. it took a lot of time to do that let me just clear the face data and try it again but this time with a close-up so 
So guys, as you have seen, if your face is close to the camera, it is super fast. Now it's time to test it. For the first time, we need to unlock the phone using the password. And after that, we can use the fingerprint scanner and the face recognition. Now let's try face recognition. So guys, as you have seen, sometimes it missed, but most of the time when it worked, it was super fast, which is probably as fast as the OnePlus 5D. Now let's check the fingerprint scanner. So guys, even the fingerprint scanner is super fast. I really don't have any complaints when it comes to the fingerprint scanner at least. Now let's check out the about page. So this phone is running a custom skinned version of Android called Funtouch OS. 4.0 based on Android 8.1 with February security patch. So out of the 64 GB of storage, we get about 50 GB of free space for your user apps and user data. And out of the 4 GB of RAM, we get about 1.89 GB of free RAM right out of the box. Now let's check out the camera interface. So this is how the camera interface looks. Nothing really new over here. It looks just like the iPhone's camera interface. And this is the same one we have been seeing in previous Vivo phones except we have these new features at the top. So this one is probably the live photo mode where it records few seconds as video. Now this is the portrait mode and we can even change the amount of blur effect that's by changing the aperture. Next let's check out the front facing camera which is supposed to be the main highlighting feature. So if you want to take portrait pictures or portrait selfies here's the button for that. Now let's see. So the camera beside me has been blurred and the rest of the stuff has also been blurred. Now let's check out the video resolution. So this phone supports 4K video recording using the rear camera and that's pretty interesting. Now let's go back. Now this is the home screen. There's no app drawer so all the apps are thrown to the home screen. And we do have some bloatware kind of stuff like this vivo.com, Newspoint, UC Browser, WPS Office and so on. Luckily, we can uninstall all these applications. So guys, I've really talked about a lot of things but really didn't touch the display part. And I must say, the display is awesome. I was never really a fan of the notch but looking at it in person, it definitely feels different. And the bezels on this phone are considerably smaller than any other phone out there in this price segment. Now let me just quickly use this phone for some time and come back to you with my initial impressions. Now coming to my initial impressions, I really don't have any complaints in terms of design and build. SIM card tray on this phone is very well built, it's completely made of metal but the plastic end kinda feels flimsy. Now on the back, we have this nice mirror finish, it looks super premium and it's super glossy and as you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet. I wish Vivo had put an anti-fingerprint coating on it. Now with that said, phone is also super slippery, so I will suggest you to use the given case. Now coming to the display, display on this phone is really stunning. Vivo V9 is the first phone in the Indian market at this price segment to come up with a phone with a notch. And as you can see, display looks stunning. I have used Samsung S9+, Plus, Samsung S8, but the display on this phone definitely feels much better than those phones. Well, in terms of picture quality, they are better, but in terms of screen to body ratio, entire immersive experience, this phone looks awesome. And just like the iPhone 10, we can also use gestures instead of navigation buttons to give us a more immersive experience. Now that's something really cool and something I really like about this phone. Now coming to cameras, these are some sample shots and as you can see, they look pretty good. Portrait mode for the front and rear cameras work really well. Well, they're not perfect, but still do a pretty good job. This phone offers auto HDR for the front and rear cameras and it seems to be doing a pretty good job. This is the video sample. We can also record in 4K resolution, but sadly there is no video stabilization. For a phone that costs 23,000 rupees, video stabilization should have been added. Now that brings us to the performance. Well, it does take some time to check out the overall performance, but right out of the box, everything was super snappy. Now there are four things that I really like about this phone. First one would obviously be the display. And as I've said, it looks stunning, amazing, whatever you want to call it. Next would be the fingerprint scanner. It is simply super fast. As you have seen, 
it is super fast, definitely as good as any flagship out there. Next one would be the face unlock. And as you can see, in good lighting conditions, it is instant. We don't even see the lock screen. So that's face unlock for you. And the final thing would be the weight and the thickness. It is super sleek around 7.8 mm and weighs just 150 grams. So if you're looking for a phone that takes great selfies, great portrait shots with a new bezel as design that's sleek and also light in weight, I will definitely suggest you this phone in this price segment. By the way guys, I'll be posting many other videos on this phone in few days. So stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel and if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It really helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.